You are looking at a new LA resident. I have been putting off going to the gym for like an hour and a half because I don't know what the parking situation is like there so I just haven't, I haven't left. My mom and I flew in two days ago. My mom left yesterday. She was only here for like 24 hours and today is my first official day of living in LA on my own. I wanted to document my very first day living in LA um, and being on my own. Gym membership was a high priority thing on my list because I just wanted to start creating routines as soon as I can because I feel like the more I sit and the more that I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing with my days, then I will just get stressed and depressed and I don't want that. So I'm trying to, you know, get in the swing of things. I took yesterday to rest and now it's game time, bitches. I thought it was really fascinating when I was looking for gym memberships. There's no like... Unless I just didn't see them. I literally was like researching gyms for like two hours because fitness is just really like important to me. So I wanted to make sure I was like, you know, finding something that was right for me. There's no like regular gyms. Like everything is like a class or like a personal trainer. Like I had a really hard time finding something that was just like, yeah, like come in and like, you know, do your thing. I don't know. I just thought it was interesting, but I haven't literally done anything since I have been here besides unpack and I went to the container store and that was pretty much it. I haven't seen anyone I needed yesterday to sit and rot. I slept in this morning. Um, I woke up at like 8.30, which is like late for me. I have been really fucking emotional like the last couple days. <clears throat> Hello? I have been really emotional the last couple days because not even like a sad emotional that like oh i'm moving like it's not even that it's just it was just pure stress and yeah not even anxiety i feel like like literally just pure stress and uncertainty and i'm feeling a lot better but because like my emotions have been so high the last couple days i'm really trying to just like chill today take it easy i usually am like a very structured person because if i'm not i feel like i'm wasting my life, which is like stupid. I need to go. God, this is like so weird. Like driving on unfamiliar streets is like, has always given me anxiety, but I knew Salt Lake so well. Like I really knew the ins and outs of it. And I knew where everything was. Like I never really mapped things super frequently because I just new because Salt Lake is really small, honestly. Like it's not that big of a city. But here, I don't know anything. I have no idea where anything is. And I remember feeling the same way when I first moved to Salt Lake. Like I was like, oh my God, I don't know where anything is. And then you obviously learn, but like, it's just so, it's so scary. Like it's so scary driving on unfamiliar roads. I hate it like a lot. Like it's, I don't know. and shower, put on a little bit of makeup, blow dry my hair, and I'll be back. I feel like a new woman. I have not gotten ready in, when was the last time I got ready? Probably like my mom's birthday was the last time I got ready, which was a week ago. And oh, it just feels so good to like, shower <laughs> and shave and wash your hair and blow dry it and put makeup on like it just I love being a girl because I love those things guys can obviously do that too but most of them don't but they should <laughs> yeah men just don't shower like ever I am exhausted like I don't know I just really I've always had an issue with energy and you know it is what it is like I feel like most people are like tired all the time I'm no exception to that I am feeling exhausted but I really need to go and get food because I don't have any I was gonna go to Erwan because you know everyone in LA is like yes Erwan but then I was looking on Instacart I was like you know like I'll just like see what type of things they have I've only been to Erwan once but I didn't actually grocery shop there Luna took me there just to like get food like at the hot bar 
and I saw a $26 cantaloupe. So I'm not going there. I'm going to Sprouts, I think, because I love Sprouts. They have one in Utah, and I used to go there. I also really like Trader Joe's, but Trader Joe's just doesn't have, like, everything, you know? And I don't really buy a lot of the Trader Joe's, Trader Joe's things. Um, so I figured I would just go to Sprouts and call it good. Not very LA of me, but whatever. I miss the days so bad where you could play music in YouTube videos, even if it was, even if it was just for a couple seconds. Um, I just always like wanted to show you guys music that I'm listening to, but I can't because then I won't make any money. Maybe I'll go to Air One too. <laughs> I like, I really, really want to try that one smoothie. I know you guys know what I'm talking about. I really want to try it. But it's also like $17 and that's just, I really do want to go to Airmont though. Like I just, no, I'm not doing that. Sprouts, Sprouts is good. Mine has been made. I was in the grocery store a little bit too long. Um, here's what $160 looks like from Sprouts. I saw a guy in there that had like a basket, you know, filled with soda cans like all the way to the top like if this was the basket all the way to the top and he was struggling so bad and i almost felt bad but he chose to do that blueberries bell pepper probably my favorite vegetable onion two of these two of these garlic the best vegan cheese ever nothing will compare to this ever i have been obsessed with kombucha recently never ever thought that i would like it but here we are. Chickpea pasta. These crackers are really good. Like I love to dip them in soup. I have never tried these. Maybe I will tonight. This stuff is so, I've actually never tried this flavor, but this is the same brand as this kombucha. So it's basically like a prebiotic yogurt that's vegan. I bought the plain coconut one of this and I mixed it with a scoop of like chocolate protein powder and it was so good it was such like a good desserty like snack so um i bought the blueberry ginger kind to try and also the vanilla one this is the oatmeal that i buy i love the steel cut don't come for me i just like the texture of it okay i've never tried this before this is right rice made from vegetables it's has a lot of protein it's gluten free and it's just rice i don't know i got the cilantro lime also i got some turmeric because i was running out two things of vegetable stock this brand of oat milk tofu i eat a lot of tofu peanut butter more kombucha i have tried both of these the golden pineapple one is my absolute favorite which is really surprising to me i actually really do like pineapple but just i've never had anything pineapple flavored that was my favorite so i got another almond milk that was vanilla bean hot sauce Never had this one. Really hope it doesn't disappoint because I think I'm gonna eat some of this tonight. I am a hot sauce fiend. Hot sauce is like my favorite thing ever. I put on everything. I love trying new hot sauces. I love Cholula. Yeah, I've never had this one. Hope it's good. These are amazing. The rest of the shit I got is just a bunch of cans. I got garbanzo beans. The Amy soups are like some of my favorite things to have like a high stock of if I'm feeling lazy. Um, for dinner, I'll make one of these or they're good for lunch too because they're just, you know. Golden lentil, never have this one. The chili is really good. This is one of my absolute favorite things to buy and to cook with. It's organic chili beans in a mild chili sauce. My mom always had these in the pantry growing up. Um, we literally eat them like with everything. Like they're so easy to put like in bowls, in burritos, literally anything. They're just really fucking good. Like I feel like when you're vegetarian, you eat a lot of beans, at least I do. This is something that I ate a lot growing up. Um, not this particular brand, but just a good staple to always have. Like I love this with like sweet potato and like a bunch of vegetables um, on top of a bunch of greens. Good shit. I also got the spicy chili. I don't think I've had this one. That was everything that I got. That's actually quite a bit. That's a lot of food. Obviously, since I just moved in, I have to get more food than I usually would. I, like I definitely, when I get back from my trip, I'm definitely gonna have to do like another huge grocery haul because I have no condiments, sauces, any freezer stuff. I have no frozen fruit, literally nothing, so. I think I'm gonna eat one of these soups right now. Solid. 
And I go and see if I can get my nails fixed today. They're just really bad. But for now, I'm just gonna eat this. And chill for a little bit because I am fucking tired. job like this is like one of the best manicures I've ever had considering how horrible my nails looked before it's 9 30 I came back and had dinner and I want to go to bed but I wanted to show you guys first I wanted to show you my um like my mood board for my apartment and like what my style like I want it to look like I have not ordered any furniture besides a couch but I wanted something that was super comfortable for a couch. My old one that I had in my last apartment was pretty comfortable, but like I see so many like stylistic couches and I'm like, that is not comfortable and it's not enjoyable to sit on or sleep on. No, I feel like I spent a lot of time on my couch just so I needed something that was like really nice and comfortable. So let me take you through my mood board. Here it is. My issue is that I have been cursed with expensive taste. In my last apartment, I really loved the vintage vibe. In my last apartment, I really loved like the vintage vibe and obviously my new like actual apartment structure has like a similar vintage look, but it felt very feminine. I really loved it. Like I loved my apartment, but I feel like now I want something that's a little bit more neutral, like not necessarily masculine, but also not necessarily feminine. Like I want something that just feels very neutral. I obviously really loved the way that my last apartment was decorated, but my mom picked out like a lot of the things. I'm really not good. Like I do not have an eye for interior design whatsoever. I can find like a lot of pieces that I like, but when it comes to actually putting everything together and having like a vision, I can't do that, but my mom can. She's definitely still gonna help me with this place, but. So I guess the style that I like is kind of like space agey, retro, if you will. I don't know, this is like the style. I don't know how to pronounce this word. Let me look this up. Bauhaus. Bauhaus. I guess Bauhaus is the right word because a lot of the things that I have pinned are like named Bauhaus whatever, the pieces. But yeah, like I had it in my last apartment, I had that bright yellow. No, it's not yellow. It's purple. For my whole entire life, I have always mixed up the words yellow and purple. I don't like, I don't mix up the colors, but just the words. Anyway, it's definitely a very 70s feel. I feel like I had a lot of warm tones in my last apartment, but I'm such like a cool tone girl. Like I love um, like the blues and the oranges and the chrome and the silver. The only issue that I have been having is that I cannot find furniture that is like any of this because this is all like old pieces from like the 60s and the 70s and the 80s and people just don't make furniture like this anymore and if you find furniture that's like this it's like tens of thousands of dollars and i'm obviously not going to buy furniture worth tens of thousands of dollars but yeah this is kind of like the feel that i'm going for oh god i'm fucking obsessed with this couch like i love it so much could not find anything that was even remotely close to this design i love this too like i love cream and i love dark wood and i love chrome so this is like I, if I had this, I would be content if I died the next day because maybe this is like a really stupid thought, but I was thinking Gen Z is so into like fashion, you know, and like d just design in general, but I never see anybody talk about furniture ever. Like no like cool furniture designers or like anything like that. Like I feel like that would be a fun thing for like Gen Z to get into. So like, can we all collectively like, I don't know, like is there any cool like Gen Z furniture designers? <laughs> Maybe that's just a little bit too niche and furniture is also like super expensive. I would love to see TikToks about like people's favorite furniture designs and like favorite, um. What is it called? Just like styles of furniture, I guess. People's favorite eras of furniture. And like, I don't know. Should we all get into that? Can we all talk about furniture design? I found this rug and I was like, oh my God, so cute. Like, I love it. It's fucking $4,000 for a rug that is going to get stepped on and dirty with people's dirty ass feet. I'll find like 
a set of dining chairs or something on eBay and it'll be like $1,200. And I'm like, you know, $1,200 for four chairs, like that's not bad. And then I actually click on it and it's like, so this is for one and it's also $800 shipping. It's so annoying. Like, I don't know. Maybe I'm just not looking in the right places, but I just am a perfectionist and I want my place to be really cute and I want it to be perfect. What can I say? Good night. Bye.